Hello, today I'm going to tell you about the SCTE certified triggers and formats and the platform SDKs. First of all, you have to use a closed caption sleep license to be able to work with the triggers. And in this video, we'll cover all the scenarios about decoding, transcoding, and insertion of SCTE certified triggers in your video. Let's start with decoding. For this, I'll use a tutorial file playback example of a format SDK. Here is it. And uh, to check if a frame contains a trigger, we have to use a get method with SCTE certified string to receive a result. And if result isn't uh, null or empty, we can uh, continue processing that information. For example, to keep it uh, somewhere or to use it somewhere else or to just uh, show a message box. I will just uh, set a breakpoint here to show you how it works. And I'll start the sample. And here is the sample and I will add a sample video with the triggers. And I start the point. With a dramatic duel over the That's it. Trigger. And we receive an XML description of a trigger. Let's keep it somewhere else to use it uh, later in insertion. That was easy, wasn't it? I'll stop the sample. And uh, we are going to the next part, to transcoding. First of all, we need to be prepared. And for this, we have to enable embedding SCTE information in output video files or network streams. For this, we need to set embed SCTE key in the system registry or through prop set method in the source code of your application. And uh, for the demonstration, I will use a, a, a writing, writer sample of a um, platform SCTE. Here it is. I use the same file with the triggers. Here is it. And I'll use uh, MPEG TS container with default video and audio codecs for transcoding. The process is running. And we need to wait for some time for triggers to be transcoded. By the way, you can use CTP streaming for this or local MPEG TS files. I think the time is up. And I'll stop the coding, close the sample, and we'll use the TS professional to check the triggers in an output file. I use the same file, open it, and here there are triggers in output file. That's it. And then the last part is triggers insertion. The reader will help us a bit later. And uh, I'll use a sample file writing sample of format SDK. Here it is. Again, for preparation, embedding SCT can be set through prop set method. And then I'll create a button to mark a moment when I need a trigger. Here it is. It's a simple Boolean variable. Then, I will use an XML description from the first part of the video about decoding. Here it is. And I will use this string to insert it as SCT certified trigger with MFSTR set method to a frame that will be encoded in a local file and a local file with an MF writer object. Let's start the test. And I will use an NDI receiver as a source. The receiver doesn't contain any triggers. It's just a video. And I will use MPEG TS container again. The process requires some time to create a proper MPT table in the beginning, so we need to skip some initial frames, about 100 or so, before start insertion. 
Astra Pen component. Let's just send the file. What's this running? And after about, let's say, 200 uh, frames, I'll start click, 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 and click. I think that's enough. And let's stop and close. Again, I'm using TS Reader Professional. And to start the source, using the same, same old triggers file. Let's give it a time to be proper be read. Here they are. All the five triggers been sorted using the sample. That's it. Wasn't it easy? Again, again, I can have to repeat that you need a closed caption sleep license to be able to work with that triggers. Well, thanks for watching. Breathe, smile, and use Mediaworks SDKs. Bye.